when ios 26 public beta release date is going to be is the big question that many people have right now apple just released ios 26 beta 3 to developers and the public beta allows other users other than the developers to you know install the ios 26 version on their iphone and ipad and experience all the features and changes that is going to come so my suggestion is as we have the iOS 26 beta 3 version which is released just for developers the official release of iOS 26 public beta 1 version could be around this weekend or by the next week you know the starting of the next week either Monday or Tuesday we will have the first version of iOS 26 public beta available for download with the latest beta 3 Apple have kind of fixed plenty of bugs and still there are so many bugs present from my experience you know with using it for the past few hours but it is more fine-tuned compared to the first beta and second beta and the liquid design is what getting tweaked with every beta version heavily and in the control center and other apps you can clearly see that it is instead of the liquid glass design that what we have seen in the WWDC right now it's more like a frosted glass design the transparency have been cut down a lot with this beta 3 version that made it you know lose the liquid glass design feel entirely and I assume that Apple may be working on dialing down the liquid glass design effects you know the more animation effects just to get the public beta ready so that more volunteers will install it on their uh, you know device and uh, experience without much readability issues because that is the main concern that raised by most content creators you know with the first beta release to developers and right now the public beta one is almost ready with few bugs here and there and uh, you know the readability is kind of a lot fixed much better and maybe with clear mode apple may bring such liquid design back as an optional one so users who want to install it on their device have a separate option to get that more transparency effect across the apps and navigation areas i still don't recommend installing the public beta or the developer beta on the primary device recently i have published a video about how to downgrade iOS 26 to iOS 18 the stable version step-by-step -step guide uh, we'll leave a link to that in the description and in the first pinned comment you can check that out like if you are not liking the public beta version for any reasons once it's available by this weekend or by next week you can of course roll back without data loss and it is always recommended to take a backup of your entire iPhone to either iCloud or you know to the local computer using the finder app if you are using Mac and Apple devices app if you are using Windows computer so that within a week if you are not liking the iOS 26 you can roll back safely to the iOS 18.5 stable version which is right now available and make sure to take the backup while using the iOS 18.5 so that you know in short period of time you can roll back and get all your data safely iOS 26 beta 3 is very much stable compared to the iOS 18 beta versions there are several UI related fixes and improvements that is need to be done in the upcoming beta updates so after a couple of beta updates i think apple could have a better fine-tuned version of ios 26 to the developers and public beta testers so till that time it is best idea to wait and then you know consider trying the ios 26 beta on your iphone or ipad are you planning to install ios 26 public beta once it's released do share your thoughts in the comments below if you're already testing the beta version released to two developers do share your thoughts about the ios 26 beta 3 version after testing it on your device thank you so much for watching for more don't forget to subscribe have a wonderful day